I mean, what do I gotta say, people? You read the title of this video, so let's just skip the intro and get on with it. Hey everybody, my name is Clifford Stummy. I'm the pop song professor. Welcome to my channel where we're all about helping music lovers like you to understand the deeper meanings of popular songs so that you know what your artists are saying and can enjoy your music more. Today we are talking about Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People, and I have to say this is a long time coming, particularly because this is one of my favorite songs of all time, not only because it's so catchy, so good, so beautiful, uh, but also because it is deep, interesting, and it poses a difficult question and does not give all of the answers. Recipes, I think, for great art, and great music. So before we get started, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background. Mark Foster is the lead singer for Foster the People, and he's also the guy who wrote Pumped Up Kicks. Pumped Up Kicks were actually a type of shoe, from my research, uh, that Reebok put out, uh, where you could kind of like pump them up a little bit so they looked a little bit bigger. Uh, and they were kind of popular among rich, fancy, pretentious kids. Uh, and so that kind of, you know, gives a little bit more context to this. But essentially, Foster wanted to get inside the heads of kids who had mental illnesses that caused them to go and do things like school shootings. Now, this song actually came before the Sandy Hook shooting. Uh, and when that happened, a lot of radio stations took it off air for a little while, uh, just out of respect for the victims' families. Just out of respect for the victims' families, I... I keep starting over with what I'm saying because you guys keep commenting on my videos and sending me notifications as a result. You guys are cool. Uh, but he, Mark Foster agreed with that decision to take it down for a little bit, uh, understanding that, you know, you kind of need to be sensitive to the families there. But essentially the point of the song was to get inside of the head of a kid who had a mental illness uh, to the extent where he wanted to cause physical harm uh, or take revenge on classmates at school. And with that being said, let's jump into some of these lyrics. In verse one, we hear that the song is about a kid named Robert. Uh, he's got a quick hand. He'll look around the room. He won't tell you his plan. So he's mysterious. He's kind of off to the side. Uh, and we're not really sure what to make of him. Later on, we hear, yeah, he found a six-shooter gun in his dad's closet in the box of fun things. I don't even know what, but he's coming for you. Yeah, he's coming for you. Uh, so essentially, he's found a gun uh, in his dad's closet. He has stolen it from his father, uh, and now he's going to be seeking personal revenge on at least one of his classmates. Later in the hook, we hear all the other kids with the pumped-up kicks, you better run, better run, outrun my gun, and later faster than my bullet. Uh, essentially, what we're hearing here is that Robert is probably not very wealthy, and he probably doesn't really like these rich kids wearing their cool pumped up kicks that he can't afford. Uh, and so he's sounds like he's coming after them. Uh, now, keep in mind, Mark Foster is trying to get inside the head of a kid here, so it's not necessarily based on like a true story or something like that. Uh, and this is his imagining of it. It sounds like so far, Robert is probably not wealthy. He's probably angry at pretentious rich kids or snobs, something like that. Uh, and he's coming for them, perhaps for something they did to him. Maybe they bullied him. Maybe they teased him for being poor. But in any case, he's trying to take revenge on them for something. Uh, or he's just maliciously going out for people who are better off than him. But I happen to think it's probably the former. In verse two, we get a little picture of his life. Daddy works a long day. He be coming home late. Genius.com suggests that the he's bringing me a surprise could be a beating or something like that. So it just kind of serves to develop this really difficult home life, which absolutely does not excuse harming other people. Uh, but at least it maybe gives us a little bit of empathy or ability to understand why he is the way that he is. And that's the basic meaning of Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Uh, it really serves to start a discussion. And the reason for that is, is because we see this picture of the attacker. Mark Foster talked about how he thought about looking at it from the victim's perspective, but felt like that would be a cop-out. It's so much more difficult to get into the head of and empathize with somebody who's doing something truly dreadful to other humans. Uh, and so he gets inside this person's head and he wants to ask questions about what causes people uh, to do things like this. What causes people to snap? Where do these mental illnesses come from? And really, he said in a lot of interviews that part of the point of the song was to engage people in conversation about the uh, situations that lead to events like school shootings. There you go, people. It's a deep song. It's amazingly well done. I think that the happiness of the, the music and the whistling and everything serves as like this sort of weird contrast to the darkness of the lyrics so that the darkness of the lyrics really stand out. Uh, and they kind of maybe cause us to say like, wait, wait, let me think about those. And so they really like beg us to, to put some thought into this and sort of antagonizes people who might be likely to treat this lightly because they've never experienced it before. Yeah, so I love it. I know a lot of you guys love it. Uh, please don't forget to join the song meaning community. Check out some of the videos on this channel, including this one right here. It's a pretty good one. I don't actually know what it is, but I'll choose a really good one and post. Uh, and comment below a song you'd like to hear me explain in a future video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you later.